Here's a quick tip for Pan Man. You may want headphones for this one because of all the wonderful panning movement. I've got mine on. That's right, it only has to make sense to you. Well, to me too, but it makes sense to me, so that's why I'm gonna share this with you. Today, we're gonna look at panning your auto pan with Pan Man Auto Panner. Ordinarily, that would fold space and time, but in this case, it's just a really fun trick that you get to use in your mixes. So check it out. Now, the first example we're gonna take a look at is on a couple of uh, percussion tracks. They're electronic percussion, these two tracks. And while we could pan them, I'll pan this one over here and pan this one over here. Okay, that's got some space. We'll turn the kick on so we can kind of hear what's going on. Some of this. So that's fine. And mostly they sit in the mix where you would like them to sit. But I would like them to do a little bit more. I, I, I think Movement is life. That's my motto. So I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to start with effect rack because I always start with effect rack uh, just in case I want to add all sorts of neat stuff later on. So effect rack mono to stereo on this guy. And let's go back and solo just it. Um, now I'm going to drag in Pan Man. This is Pan Man right here. It's awesome. Uh, and I'm going to show you the tool that makes you be able to pan your auto panning. <laughs> it's called offset. It's right there on the front. It's really cool. You can move it way over to the side, left or right, whichever direction you want to go. Let's turn the rate up a little bit here so you can see it, turn the smoothing on and get it going back and forth. So uh, what I do is narrow the width down to where it's just barely moving. So we have this going on. And then I use my offset to pan it over here. So I've just got this going on. Let's listen. Over here. So there's just a tiny bit of movement going on off to the side. So instead of just panning something over here and having it sit, you're now panning it and having it move a little bit. Life! It's a wonderful thing to bring something out in the mix uh, if you've got things that have to share similar space. Uh, because it makes you be able to hear them a little bit better without necessarily have to, having to turn them up. So uh, let's, let's listen to that. And with the kicks. I'm gonna move it back over here because this is where I need it to be. And you can use any of the modes. So if you wanted that to be a little bit more random, you could turn it on random. Hey, what do you know? And it'll kind of bop around in different places. without a particular, you know, cyclical movement, because it's random. Ah, lovely. Now, with both of these, both of these uh, percussion tracks, what I'm going to do, now that you know the trick about offsetting, I'm going to load up uh, a couple of presets so you can hear what else you can do to it. Hang on. Voila, so I loaded some presets with some extra elements. I'll show you those in just a second. And now we've got Pan Man going on the random with smoothing, which makes it move around randomly over in this space that we created earlier. And then on the other track, let's bypass that again and just listen to it. That one. What, what we've done, whoops. Uh, what we've done is a different kind of random over on this side. It's much more, uh, uh, it's stuttering more without the smoothing on, so it's jumping around a lot more. Let's go ahead and listen to that. Without it, eh, it's right there. It's fine, it's no big deal, but I like it to jump around. Now, in both cases, what I've done is add a little extra elements, and on this Echo Boy, I've got this crazy flange thing going on, and it's also shifted off to the uh, opposite side. It's on this side because my other element is panned over here. Let's listen. And in its case, I've added phase mistress to give it a little more of a sweep up front. Then I added Echo Boy to give a little bit of a kind of spatial thing. 
cool. So always start with effect rack. So in case you want to add elements, you just drop them in and go and save the whole thing as a preset. Be right back with one more tip of how to use the offset to pan your auto panning. Okay, so on this track we've created, we've taken this simple synth uh, riff and we've created this awesome cool pulsing pad. I'll show you how to do that in another video. But right now, way down at the bottom of this list of plugins is Pan Man doing its cool offset so I can push this pad off to the side and give it its own space so it doesn't take up all the room. Same trick right here. Narrowed the width down, used the offset to move it over. It's a really fun trick to use for Pan Man, so uh, check it out.